Good evening and welcome to Scrabby on the Fly. This is Kristen and welcome to, I gotta get those things out of the way, um, another layout reveal for Disney. Um, you will notice this lovely new um, messed up bandage I got going on. I've had it on most of the day. Um, I have poison ivy under my arm. I mean, <laughs> Well, it's under and above and around. Um, so, it's wrapped so I don't spread it, itch it, or give it to anybody else. So, I just think it's beautiful. Tomorrow I'm going to put on a different color so that it at least is fancy. So, I have completed seven pages today. Um, we are unexpectedly going to go out of town tomorrow. Um... And so I'm hoping to get a couple of pages done before we go out of town so I can post a video tomorrow, but I will not be back until Sunday and maybe not then, depending on how late it is when we get back into town. So I have seven layouts to share with you and we'll get started. Hopefully you can not hear my kids listening to whatever it is they're watching in the next room. All right, we are still in Hollywood Studios, and this is my meal page. So, um, I have about five billion, hold on, I'm going to get a, rolling around, I shouldn't roll around, my husband's downstairs sleeping. I have a bunch of these, um, Mrs. Grossman's stickers. I, would, I don't know if they have names. I don't think that... Anyway. Um, I have packages of these. I still have one I haven't even opened. And it has three of these long strips. Or six... No, six of these long strips in them. I think. Yeah. So. I have so many of them. And I don't know what to do with them. I mean, there's only so many things you can do. So. I took the bottom half of this page. And every inch, I lined all of the drinks that I had. And then I did the french fries and decided to flip them back and forth so they would fit better. Um, and because these were like back and forth with the straws. And then um, I lined my hot dog, the pizza, the burgers, and the um, ice cream. And then I have these Mrs. Grossman's orders that I put down and they're not full 12 by 12s so I just cut them in different places now now that I look at it well this one is still a little visible but and this one okay I was gonna say they've all gotten covered so it kind of was pointless but um I just made them in different places so it would kind of leave a little extra something um so these are the two places that we ate um on the first day we were at Hollywood Studios and the last day we were at Hollywood Studios. I made a little journaling squares down here about either what we ate or the adventure we had at Woody's Lunchbox where a not very kind gentleman stole the table right from my children, <laughs> which was crazy. Anyway, I took these two pictures and I was originally going to cut them apart and decided not to. This is the sign outside of the lunchbox, and this is the menu. And I mean, this kind of has a menu written on it too, but this has more details. So I took the pictures together, left them together. I thought they were kind of cute. Matted them on some yellow, old yellow paper. I have had this in a set of a bunch of papers, so I have no clue what brand they are. And then matted it on this Park Lane black and white polka dot. It's from the black and white paper pad um because um I loved the texture and I loved how it brought the colors out plus I already had the black and white polka dots down here so I really love the way this page turned out I did mat the journaling on these papers that have salt and pepper shakers and grilling tools I have no idea where these came from. I've had them. I couldn't even, I mean, for so long. I have acquired so many things over the years from, like, mystery shops and from people giving them to me. Or, um, I've bought things off of different 
like marketplace and things like that. I have no clue where a lot of my things have come from. So that's part of why, a big part of why I am determined to use things up. So page number one, I really love how it turned out. Page number two is the Tower of Terror. I also really love how this, I spent a lot of time on this page and it may not look like it because it's like rectangle, 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 you know, but these were actually four rectangles. These three things right here, this maroon, this peach, and this peach were all part of a stack of papers that I've had for a long time. I don't know where they came from. One of the many things that I've acquired. And this was actually a rectangle with the same blue, not the same pattern, but the same blue stripe in it. And I decided that this was the closest color pattern, color I had to this peachy tan color of the Hollywood Tower of Terror. So I decided that I kind of wanted to mimic the aesthetics. <laughs> Look at that big word I'm using at one o'clock in the morning. Go. Ooh, one thirty. Um... So the aesthetics of the Tower of Terror. So the big, huge rectangular shape and then the um, pointed spot. But this point has the blue stripe in it. So I put my Tower of Terror right there. These are th two different um, uh, fonts and uh, sticker sheets. Good gravy. I just matted this one on black and kind of cut around it. This is a strip from a Stickability Cinema uh, sticker sheet. I roughed up all the edges. It's the Tower of Terror. It's dirty. It's grimy. There's cobwebs everywhere. I didn't want it to look clean and neat and pretty. So I used this um, green, green color. There was a lot of really beautiful gardens around the Tower of Terror. So I brought in the green and this burgundy color because there were a lot of like red colored flowers. I used the little um, thing from the map with the details about the ride. This is our family picture, um, and I really love the way this picture turned out. You could see the gorgeous flowers and bushes, and then this just super creepy building in the background. And it is the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror, so I designed this myself. I got a few different things to circle and use my white marker, and um, then just use these two different, these are Revons. And this is, um, oh, I think there may be Karen Foster, um, alphabets, making memory rub ons and sticker alphabets. So, um, and then I just sketched this kind of general concept here because that's what this is here with the little, it's not perfect because I'm not a very good. Uh, draw, rah, 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 rah. I'm also not very good with grammar. I am not very good at drawing. Um, and then I inked them up with my black ink pad. Um, and then just kind of tore them a little bit. Because I didn't want them to look pretty. So there is page number two. And I really love it. But I also really love this. Today um, on scrapbookingwithanmarie.com The prompt was to use circles. Add a banner and three colors. So, I barely got in with the three colors. I have red, I have black, and I have this green. There is some white, um, and uh, this is really like a gray, this backdrop here. So, I have never used, well, not at least not like this, like tooly stuff. And a lot of the people I watch use it a lot. And so I thought this was the perfect time to bring it in because um, this picture in the Tower of Terror is there um, inside while you're waiting. It's covered in cobwebs. Now, I, well, nobody's dusted there in a long time. So I use this tool. I put a couple of really old stick abilities stickers back in, or stick a stickers back here in the background um, underneath the lacy stuff um i had to tuck them in because they were tearing a little because they're old and then i have these spiders that i just a couple of them i stuck on the top of the tool and one of them i tucked underneath and actually put down on the paper 
these circles are from when I cut circles out for something, oh, for my um, opening page for the Hollywood Studios that had the reels on it. Um, and this is the uh, vacant or empty space from the circles, and I just trimmed around them. And I really love the way this turned out. And then this is from Keller's Creations. It's Can We Go Again? That is the title of this page because my son loves this ride. It's his favorite. You can tell in his face. But this um, paper is from the paper studio from Hobby Lobby. And it's cobwebs, spider webs, whatever. And um, this banner here, I, our border, I don't know what brand it is but it matches the paper so it may be from the Hobby Lobby but I got it as a gift from my sister years ago and it's they're so old they don't stick so I had to put um double-sided tape and then these this is one of those borders that you've seen on a lot of pages because I have a bajillion of them and when I say a bajillion of them I'm not kidding this is part of them and I have used this many or more already on layouts and um, yeah I I don't know if I bought stock in Miss Grossman's and or if I have a friend who did and then they gave me their stuff or what but I am finding hordes of it okay so this is page number three and I really love it you're gonna hear me say that a lot this is page number four and this is the third and final page for the haunted or the Tower of Terror. Um, my daughter saw this guy walking around um, the bellhop outside of the Tower of Terror, and he was playing it up, being really funny and goofy. And she asked if she could take a picture with him. So he made this really creepy face, and and <laughs> it was just fun. So. I cut out this, um, I just fussy cut this luggage from the Recollections Well Traveled, and I had this what a character is a cut from a cut apart from Disney Sandy Line Disney paper, and this Pack Your Bags for Adventure was just some more luggage. I cut that out of my Echo Park 6x6 Remember the Magic um, paper pad. This is a Sandy Line sticker that I've had since like 2007. Um, I put this on gold because he's got gold buttons and his jacket is like this color maroon. And then I used some more of the border. I had this die cut of an arrow. I just used my gold. Um, this is Hampton Art. It just came from Walmart. I figure as long as it, it'll go on, it'll go on. I don't care if it gets torn up or like messed up with like another kind of ink or whatever. Um, that's my kind of playing around kind of inks. And then I do have a picture of the trash can that was at the um, Tower of Terror. And so I matted that on like a peach color, but I dirtied up the peach because um, the walls, like I said, the, it, I'm trying to mimic the colors from the building. And then I took a piece of this dark green and put some gold and yucked that up a little bit too because the trash can's green, but it's really dingy looking. Um, on purpose, I am sure, because they love to do that fancy mess. Uh, so, going up is the title of this page. And we definitely went up, and then we came down, and up, and down, and up. Alright, page number five. We are moving on to, in the last three pages of this layout share, is from the Rock and Roller Coaster featuring Aerosmith. Um, this sweet roller coaster paper is from the kit that I got at Hobby Lobby. Um, it's by Sandy Lion, and um, I just trimmed an inch off the top and the side. So I, you will be seeing. Uh, I was going to show them to you, but I don't see them. They're tucked up under here somewhere. I've got them so that I can. Oh, here they are. You will be seeing these little side bits of roller coaster in a future layout, I am sure. Um, and then I um, matted my the picture I took of the um, guitar that's got the rock and roller coaster on it. I matted it on some music paper and then again on some of this burgundy color similar to this matte. Um, and then I had these 
punk rock girl stickers from I think they're sticker Potamus. And I put one of those on here and then this little guitar pick with a music note on it and this little lock and this iPod. You can see how old the stickers are because it's got an iPod. Those are all from there and the music note. And then this family never a dull moment and this together and these two little um, tags came from this box that I just got off of Marketplace from someone and um, I thought that they were perfect for this because like we're just absolutely great good acting so goofy in all of our little family shots. I'm loving looking back at these pictures because they're so fun. So um, if I find out the name, I'll have to look and see if it's on there. I'll have to find out what the name is because it came out of a box, came with a scrapbook and all sorts of accessories and a huge, I mean, stacks and stacks of um, like a chipboard and like this is one of the stacks in one of the two boxes that I got. And this has got a ton of chipboard and um, stuff in it. So I am really, really excited and I can't even, I won't even tell you how, um, how much I paid for it because you all would be so jealous. So this is page number five. Page number six is also at the rock and roller coaster. When we, the first day we were there, I was exhausted. We had just gotten off of the um, Tower Terror. My stomach was a little -y. So when we walked over to the rock and roller coaster, the ride was 50 minutes and I was hot and tired. So I decided to sit one out. My daughter ended up doing the same. So my son and my husband went on their own. So it ended up being perfect. So I have this whole page. It's just the two of them and they were in line here um i use this uh let the good times roll because i figured since it was a rock and roller coaster that i would use that um this little sticker that says the boys came from that big stack of stuff i just so showed you let me tuck it under here um this the boy the camera this guitar all came from the stick abilities this one is a cool boy and then i have um the next page will be girl um this director thing um die cut is oh i wrote it down oh generation next it is dated 2001 i popped it up on some foam um this little oh boy came from the six by six paper pad little bit of the um, music note paper, which I also matted this picture down here on. And then the, some more of those little borders. When I don't use the whole thing, like I cut it off, I just put it back on the page and use it for little things like this. And I love it. It's perfect. Um, and then the Thrill of Disney came from the cut apart from the Sandy Line Disney paper. And I just journaled about how me and Katie didn't want to go on the ride because we were tired. Um, and that the boys went and had a good time, um, and that my husband knew I would want the picture of them on the ride waiting, so he sent this to me, um, and then I put some of the Sandy Lion uh, Mickey Mouse paper in the background. That is page number six, and see, page number seven is the girls. So this came from that stack of stuff I just showed, um, showed you. Uh, this love this is from Keller's creation um, it was a princess-esque inspired um, set that I bought from there um, girl smile almost all of these little metallic looking um, ones like almost all of the embellishments on here the camera the flower all of these all came from the stick abilities girl um, sticker set and I added some park lane jewels and just multiple colors and a couple different sizes just to add a little extra shine on this page not that me and my daughter need any more shine and then this best day ever came from an american craft cut apart and these don't have names they just have numbers so i wish they had names i almost used this summer because it had the bright colors but I really liked the best day ever because every day at Disney is the best day ever, right? 
So no matter how many steps you want. Um, I did put this little, tuck this little piece of music paper here. Um, and then this is a picture of the ground outside. And it's got like, it's one of the little water places like where they get the water out or you know work it with the water but it looks like a record and I thought that was so cool so I took a picture of it because I took a picture of everything so that is page number seven and that is all I have for today um I am Hollywood Studios um is coming to a close because that was the last ride the only other um, thing I need to scrapbook from Hollywood Studios is I have a picture of the um, the Mickey that's on top of the globe and I have um, a map picture. I'm going to do a page with the map like I did for Animal Kingdom and um, I have maybe a couple little odds and ends. Here's my little box that I've been keeping it all organized in. And it is getting pretty low. See, look how low. I have this, the crossroads, and, um, well, I have this, and then, oh, here we go. I have it over here. Sorry. Confused my own self. Um, and then I have the map, because I haven't made a map page. And then here are the pictures that I've got for the map. So, really... Hollywood Studios in and of itself, I have two pages left. Now, just so you know, that does not include anything Star Wars related. That is a whole other thing. That is a whole other ball game. And that will be the last thing I do because it is a daunting task. Because if you saw the stack of stick pic uh, stickers of pictures that I have from Hollywood Studios, Star Wars, Galaxy's Edge, you would also be a little daunted. So, that is what I have. Um, tomorrow my plan is to do those two pages so that I can be um, ready for the next park. And um, the next park is gonna be Epcot. So tomorrow, hopefully I will get those two pages from Hollywood Studios completed. And we can move on to the next thing. Um, today's seven pages Let's see what my totals are. My math, my notes are a hot mess. Today's seven pages. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Takes me to 102 pages in the Disney book and 77, 79 uh, pages this month um, in total. I am really excited. It is the 14th. Well, officially it's the 15th. The 14th of July. So in less than half a month. I am over halfway to my goal, so which is good since I'm going to miss a couple of days this week that were unexpected. So, um, yeah, I think that we're in good shape to hit our goal of 125 pages for the month of July. So we shall see how that goes. So I hope you all have a wonderful day and a great rest of the week. And if I don't get a video out tomorrow, um, I will definitely get one out when I come back. Um, Sunday or Monday and I guess that um, that's all so have a wonderful evening have a wonderful week and I hope you get a chance today to do something you love with someone you love happy scrapping <laughs>